नमस्ते एवरीवन हेयर आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट रोमन न्यूमरल्स एंड देयर हिंदू अरेबिक इक्विवेलेंट्स रोमन न्यूमरल्स आर ओरिजिनेटेड इन एंशियंट रोम एंड फ्रॉम देयर दीज न्यूमरल्स आर इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन होल यूरोप वेयर एज these hindu arabic numerals are origin originated by hindus and introduced by arabians to west so these numbers are these numerals are called hindu arabic numerals as we observe here that there are only seven basic symbols in roman numerals those are this symbol represents one this is for one this is for five this is for 10 x this is for 50 l this is for 100 c this is for 500 d and this is m for 1000 now there are some rules with help of them we can find other numbers we can so we can represent other numbers with help of these basic seven symbols here are only seven basic symbols 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 but in hindu arabic numerals there are total 10 digits with help of them we can represent or so we can create other numbers like this zero in hindu arabic numeral zero 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 total 10 digits are here 8 and 10 with help of these symbols we can so other numbers also we can create other numbers also these are basic 10 digits in hindu arabic numerals whereas there are only seven basic symbols in roman numerals here zero zero is in hindu arabic numerals but there is no zero there is no symbol for zero in roman numerals now i am going to explain about some rules with help of them we can represent other numbers we can create other numbers in roman numerals first law is known as law of addition add we have to add this is one and when we put one more in this then we have it gives us one plus one that is two which is equivalent to hindu arabic numeral that is two this symbol represents two we can put like this three this symbol gives us three this is law of addition we can add these numbers and there will be maximum three times repetition we can repeat a symbol maximum three times in roman numerals to create roman numbers and other law is like this a smaller number will be subtracted in a smaller or a smaller number will be added in a smaller only first one this number will be subtracted or added like this this is 5 we can add this one or subtract this one like this or this one will be subtracted in 10 also this from 10 we can subtract 1 but 
we can't subtract this one in this L. L, this is L to represent 50. We can't write like this. Or C. Or D. Or I am. These are meaningless numbers. These are invalid numbers. Invalid. These are invalid. And we can repeat maximum three times such that 10, 10, 10. It gives us 10 plus 10 plus 10, that is 30. Now, V, L, and D. V, L, and D. These symbols are neither be added nor be subtracted. These symbols can't be repeated. We can't write like this. V, V, L, L, D, D. These are invalid. We can't so like this. Law of addition, law of repetition. These numbers will not be repeated and we can repeat maximum three times a symbol such that one, 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 or C, 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 we can do like this, or M, 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 or 10, 10, 10. These are meaningful numbers, these are valid. But these are invalid symbols. We can't write like this, we can't show like this. As a smaller number will be subtracted from a smaller one. Now 10. 10 will be subtracted from C and L only. We can write L. This is for 50. This is 50. We can write like this. And also we can write like this. 10 will be subtracted from C. A smaller number which is in the left side of a greater number, that number will be subtracted. It will be created like this, 100 minus 10, that is 90. Here also 50, this is 50 minus 10, that is 40. But we can't write like this, we can't show like this, 10. Minus will not be subtracted from D because D shows 500, that is greater number. Greater from greater number, a smaller number will not be subtracted. 10 minus 1000, this is also invalid. These are meaningless or invalid. Again, V, L, D will not be subtracted, so we can't write, we can't create any number like this, D, M. This is also invalid. These are invalid symbols. Maximum, we put any number three times. Now, win coulomb. This is law of multiplication. When we put symbol, win coulomb, this symbol. Five and win coulomb. It means five is base, five. This symbol shows multiplied by 1,000. Then we have 5,000. When we put like this, 
five mil coulomb m. Then we have five. This symbol stands for one thousand. That is five thousand plus m stands for one thousand. In this way, we have six thousand. Whenever we put this symbol, win column, that means base will be multiplied by one thousand. These are basic Roman numerals, and their Indo-Arabic equivalents. With the help of these laws, we can represent other numbers also. That's all. Thank you very much for watching.